planning friends it's nia welcome to life with nia today we are planning out the week of may 27th to june 2nd it is june friends it is june where did the year go it's like wow um i'm i'm not complaining because you know, I love summer, so I am excited about that, but time is just going by so quickly. I am going to, this was from um, Hand Can Plan. I'm going to use these numbers, even though they're really small. We're going to make them work. They're the same size. Like last week, I had a planner cake kit, and the numbers were small, so we will be fine. Anyway, um... So let's talk about, first of all, let me put these numbers down because I, listen, I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. I will have them all in the wrong place. So let me do this. How many days are in May? 31? Yeah, 31. Okay, so <clears throat> if there was a 32, I would put it down. I can't believe it's June. So, what do we have going on here? We have um, a mishmash of things. I've got um, what was like an Independence Day kit from last year in the A5 Daily Duo. Took some pieces of that that I had in my stash. Took some pieces of, I think this is like blue icicles or something like that. And then this is winter fog. We just going to use all the things so that <laughs> we didn't make anything new. We shopped our stash, and that is what we're using this week. Now, before I jump into this, Planner Sesh Box is coming on the 31st. We're at the point in the planner where <laughs> that's what it looks like closed and then flipped back on itself for, as an example, Monday. It's just full. Um, and it's annoying. It's at the annoying point. So we have five weeks of annoyingness at the end of the planner. And then we will get to jump into a fresh one. Because the A5 Daily Duo is every six months. Alright. So Planner Sesh Box is coming on Friday, May 31st. There are going to be some new releases, so I should have a plan with me up every day this week, and um, I'll show you something new every day. I will show stickers for the Planner Sesh Box on Friday during Friday Night Lights, but these are some new releases. So these are Hobonichi kits. This one is called Bookworm, and that is what it looks like. Then there is one called Red Hot Summer. So that is this one. Which would be also a fun Independence Day kit. Then there is one called... I don't know. I keep going back and forth on it. Reading at the Beach, Books in the Beach... I like books on the beach. So that is this one. Love, love, love the blues and greens here. And then we have Patriotic, which is perfect for 4th of July. I didn't do a Juneteenth Hobonichi. I can. Let me know if you're interested in a Juneteenth Hobonichi. I have some A5 Daily Duo kits coming. I am going to do my best, but no promises because I'm up against time on 7x9. But there is a new budget kit. Um, this is all going to be up on the 31st, so none of these things are on the site yet. Budget kit called Ocean Blue. It's also available in a monthly mini kit, which <laughs> I love it. I love Y'all know I love anything blue. But then you add the ocean to it and in my happy place so we've got that and um that one's going to be in an a5 daily duo i'm going to try to get it done in a seven by nine daily duo as well i got the box done for the planner sesh box and i um 
I like the color payoff on this printer, but this line is driving me nuts. It only does it on a big full sheet like this, like this and this print fine. But that's getting on my nerves. So I'm not sure. I may change printers. I've got two other options to go with. They all print a different color. So I like keep track of what I print where and, we'll, you know, like what colors I like for whatever printer. Um, and then I only print certain things on that printer. So like if you had purchased, as an example, the coffee 7x9 Daily Duo. That prints to the same printer that's doing this line thing. So on that one, it was smearing the numbers at the bottom. So I was just um, printing out the numbers and the days of the week. It was doing it for both. On the Canon. Because that one without fail is going to print well. It just doesn't do dolls well. It The color just is not right. It's like they look horrible on that printer in most instances. So I'm probably, I'll probably test that one out to see what the box cover looks like. But I'm not feeling like the doll is going to come out good. I could be wrong though because that doll, that doll might work. Not all of them do. So we'll see. But anyways, um... I know it's just a box, but I don't like the line. So I'm going to do my best to get rid of it. I don't have it. I don't generally have the problem with any sticker sheets just because nothing I print is that big. I don't know what's going on with that printer. That that print When that printer goes, I'm going to be so sad, though, because that was like one of the first printers I used. I already replaced it with the same one, but they do not make it anymore. So, can't, just, can we just have wonderful things work all the time the way that they're supposed to? Is that asking too much? Must be asking too much. Anyways, I spent, um, spent some time in my garden today. I act like it's this big place I go, and it's not. Um, it's literally right out my back door. Um, but I went and did, um, did a little bit of, so yesterday, Friday, I think it was Friday. Friday, I, heck, I don't even remember. It could have been last week at this point. But anyways, a few days ago, <laughs> I planted some cantaloupe and watermelon. And then... Okay, this is going to drive me crazy. Let me clip these. So I planted some cantaloupe and watermelon, and then I... had got like I think two strawberry plants and I decided I wanted some more so I bought way too many of them you know what note to self next year you don't need this many plants that's what we need to scale back on um because a lot of things I bought several of just in case they didn't make it so um I bought like two watermelon and one cantaloupe which I think is fine I bought, I think, three strawberries. And then they had bulbs, 50% off. So I bought two bulb, strawberry bulbs, which I'm not sure that those are even going to do anything. I was watching YouTube about strawberries and how they work. And so it's like, if you plant that, it may not come up for a year. So they're like dormant. They go dormant in the winter and come back, which is really interesting. So, I have all these strawberries now. I think I have like, <laughs> I think I have like seven strawberry plants or something like that. 
And then I was saw something today where it's like they spread out and grow, and I did not realize that. So we're going to have a whole strawberry thing. I'm also concerned with um, critters eating them all up or birds before I get to them. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I got some more time because those are good for companion planting to keep bugs away. I also trying to figure out what doll I want to put in here. I also um, picked up this is a good one. I picked up um, some marigolds because every time I was going they were out and so I'm going to make myself a sticker for Monday or maybe I'll just put down Memorial Day. Um, so yeah, every time I was going they were out and those are also good to keep bugs away, but they attract bees for your pollinating. So I picked up two more of those. Those have not been planted. I picked up some thyme and I did not plant that yet. Also, the oregano that I was sort of like concerned that I had pretty much killed has really come back. The... Um, Roma tomatoes have tomatoes on there. They're little green tomatoes sprouting out. So that's pretty exciting. And um, my zucchini have flowers. And some of them are starting to turn to zucchini. So that's exciting. And my peppers are flowering. I'm just still not too sure about those. I think um, the other thing that I did was I took a tomato plant I think I think the one that I took was I'm sitting here thinking about this I had all these stickers out because I was talking about sticker storage I did a video and now a sticker I would like to use is in the other room anyways um I took a plant out because the location I have it in is you all see all these stickers that fell over. Um, the location I have it in is um, I don't think getting enough sun. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's getting enough sun so now I kind of like have the strawberries there which I think need more sun but I only have some of the strawberries there I don't have all of them there so I I will see how that all pans out but um I took the tomato plant out I put it in its own container I moved it off the patio area um I have like this uncovered just off the patio where I have one of those beds raised beds and um, I can't move it because it's too heavy and then I have one of the fabric beds which I am going to move because that has both of my cherry tomatoes and I do not think they're getting enough sun so I'm going to move that I also did some pruning of my tomatoes I have never pruned tomatoes before this time growing I am pruning them and it does seem to make a difference so I'm really kind of into my whole garden thing here. Like, if you garden, let me know. If you have any tips and tricks, let me know. I would be interested to hear what other people do. So that is what's going on over um, in Mia's garden. Okay, so did I get down all of my... I think I'm going to make myself a garden. So I've got the water garden. I think I'm going to make myself like a garden maintenance, like a pruning and like when I use fertilizer sticker or stickers as well so that I can keep track of all that stuff. I do have a sheet where I am keeping track of when I planted something which is helpful. So I planted last weekend some 
pole beans, bush beans, and snap peas. And the pole beans and bush beans are starting to sprout. So that was pretty quick. So um, I'm excited about that. I, I feel like everything in my garden, except for some of these peppers. I'm not a big pepper person. But I feel like everything in the garden is going to be something that I will eat or use in a dish. Um, I've got a ton of herbs. I love to cook with herbs. Um, my basil is getting a little out of control. Before it starts to flower, I need to like, I've been pinching those off, but I need to like cut those off so that they continue to grow. Um, but I need like some ideas for um, meals with basil. Uh, outside of like pesto, I'm drawing a blank. Cause she looks good with the fog. So that's what's going on in garden land. I'm going to put a sheet here. Let's see what we have. So if you have any basil meal plan recipes, let me know. Um, I have basil planted in a handful of spots and the basil and the mint seem to do exceptionally well as well. It's like they don't require a lot. Just sort of are doing their own thing. I'm gonna put that there and find something to go over the habit part. All right, so going back to I think that I have completely let my budget get out of hand this month so we're going to go and enjoy our birthday for sure but then after that we're gonna get our life back together because I, I can't as much as I would like to pretend like I have an endless supply of money I don't I don't and it's looking real bleak over here. Okay, so we have payday. We have trash day. And I need Memorial Day. Do I need Memorial Day stickers? If this week is let's, let's take a look and see that one we don't have to wonder payday this is the this is the recycle day so before I put the trash day sticker down let's see if I have a Day. I guess PD abandoned me. He's abandoned me all day, which is fine. I could go somewhere and live my life the way I want it and be spoiled. I would too. Can't blame him for that. His uh, note to self on that. His vet is on my list at the moment because I've not been able to get one of his medications refilled. I guess they're having problems with 
having a pharmacist on duty. So they are backed up in refilling prescriptions. I thought Costco was messing something up, but it is not them. Okay, I do not have a recycle day, so I'm just going to use trash day. I'm just going to go on a Wednesday. And then... No, we're not going to do that. We're going to put this and this here. And we're going to slide those in there. It's some birthday stickers. So I can use those. Because if I get to filling that out and looking for them, I won't be able to find them later. So we're going to save us ourselves from that nonsense. Okay, let's get some quotes in here. And it's looking like any sticker that might possibly say Memorial Day. Let's see if Oh here we go. Alright, Memorial Day and then Flower Sesh Box. Got it. I'm actually going to do two. We can move that off. We can move that off. Mental health day here. That's what we're going to call that. And we're going to also take one of those here. Because I don't have time to be fooling with them people. When I need to be working on the planner sesh box. The end. That's all. That's the story. That's what I'm sticking to. Okay. So we got those in there. Then. I think I took all the stickers out of here. I'm trying to reorganize the stickers. They're in a big old pile in another room. I thought I left my use all the time stuff. I spent today a good maybe five hours foiling stickers. I cut, print and cut them all yesterday. Today was just foiling and I was doing other stuff while I was foiling. I can, I think it was about 400 sheets and I can do two sheets at a time. Um, and then I have two more sheets ready to go. So it's like a, a sort of like a, an assembly line type of thing, but it still takes forever. So in between the, that I was, you know, sending stuff off to the cutting machine as well. And I have new appreciation for people who foil stickers. Like that's what they offer in their shop. Not that I did not have appreciation for them before, but if that is all that you offer is foiled stickers, I have no appreciation for you because it's time consuming. I see why y'all's um, 
processing times are so long. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like, there's only so much you can do unless you have multiple machines. Um, you're not going to make it go any faster than where the speed is going. Uh, and then it's like I had to cut all the um, foil to the correct size. It's a whole thing. And then it's like after foiling certain colors are weird and so you have to like dust all the excess foil off it's a whole thing so that was like five hours of my day which I did not intend for that much time to be spent on that one activity so that threw a little bit of a monkey wrench into things but we got it done and it's like all done so it's one less thing I have to worry about which is always a good thing and actually use the same sticker here and then that takes care of covering up those habits all right so this is all set. This is the week of May 27th to June 2nd in the A5 Daily Duo. Got a little Memorial Day going on here. And then we have the end of the month and we just roll right into June. So I hope that you are having a wonderful week. Um, I've shown you those new Hobonichi kits. Tomorrow I'll try to show the new A5 Daily Duo kits. Um, and then you saw the new Monthly as well, which is also a new budget kit. And we'll see what else I can get print and cut and ready to show. I'm also working on the birthday bundle, which will be next week gosh like time hello time slow down so birthday is june 6th and that is when i plan to release the birthday bundle i think we'll see because i won't be here uh, me and pd are kidding the streets anyway i'm rambling i'm tired have a wonderful week and i'll see you back here next time bye